Yes, I come from the University of Massachusetts in the United States. I come from Germany. From Udine. Me too, Italy. Uh, Japan. Originally from China, but directly from Germany. I'm born in Russia and uh, I, uh, I'm from University of Pittsburgh. Greece. I come from Denmark, always in Denmark. Um, TU Berlin. Technical University. I'm from the University of Linz in Austria. From Lugano, Università della Svizzera Italiana. Uh, Trinity College, Dublin. Hertfordshire University in the UK. This is the Daimler Center for um, Automotive Information Technology in Berlin. From uh, Montreal, Canada. From Germany. I'm from uh, UC of Leeds, UK. I'm originally from uh, Indonesia, but uh, currently I'm studying in Belgium. Hello, I'm from the UK, I study in Southampton and I come from Essex. Hi, I'm originally from Iran, but I live in uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, so I'm from University of Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> now we're... University of Pittsburgh. From the University of Southampton. I come from Austria. I come from Greece. I'm from Japan. Japan. Uh, uh, California. From Italy. I'm Italian, yeah. From Torino. Coming from the Netherlands. Greece. Uh, from Ireland, Trinity College, London. Uh, Sydney. Israel. Israel. Oh, it's difficult. Probably Australia, but originally from Germany. Australia. Sweden. The United States. Seattle, Washington. Uh, University of Pittsburgh. Greece. Finland. I came from Brazil. Hi, I'm Martorens from Strands, Barcelona. Japan. Japan. I'm from Germany, from Alaman. United States. I'm from House Against the Plain Information Technology in Finland. Uh, England. <laughs> Canada. From Switzerland, from EPFL. I'm from the University of Toronto. The University of Pittsburgh. I'm ca I come from uh, University of Namur, Belgium. And uh, I, I originally come from Palestine. I come from the United States. Uh, Bandung, Indonesia. Sono loro i 170 ricercatori protagonisti della conferenza UMAP che si è tenuta a Trento dal 22 al 26 giugno 2009 e organizzata dalla fondazione Bruno Kessler. So, I like the host of training, but I'm just going to Durante l'intensa settimana del programma scientifico hanno parlato di didattica personalizzata, tecnologie che si modellano in base ai gusti, agli interessi e le preferenze degli utenti. Gli scienziati si sono confrontati poi sugli ultimi progressi delle loro ricerche nell'ambito dei sistemi basati sulla raccomandazione, la personalizzazione nell'e-learning e sistemi adattivi basati su web. Which are the main results uh, coming out from this conference? Well, this is a conference investigating how technology can be made to adapt to human beings instead of the normal thing, which is the other way around. So what we're doing is a kind of long-term research into how to make computers more adaptable to differences between human beings. So that's why we have the name user modeling, capturing aspects of uh, different human users of computers, adaptation, having the computer adapt to people, and personalization, adapt in ways that are different for every person, because every person is different. So what we hope at the end of the conference is that the uh, state of the art uh, of this will be advanced some, that people will have understood more about uh, how to make computers uh, more reactive to the people that use them. What's the future of the e-learning and the uh, personalization of the learning? Oh, I, I actually I think we're uh, entering a very interesting time because until uh, recently uh, learning systems basically competed by adding different uh, functionalities. They have more and more and more tools, but now basically almost every tool uh, can be found on almost every major system. And now they really start compete and making it more personalized, more interactive. So the best e-learning systems now allow to have really interactive, interesting content well beyond page learning, which is, I think, exciting because just a few years ago, e-learning was basically uh, online page learning. And a number of uh, uh, systems trying to do some personalization. We even get some standards uh, um, approved by some e-learning organization on user profiling. So I think in the next five to 10 years, we'll get really massive scale uh, e-learning personalization, which I think will uh, increase the quality of online education. Sensors one, two, three, four. 
five, six without it didn't take pressure. So as you press on it, uh, it'll detect that. And then there's a camera here. Uh, so if you sit down. Quanto tempo dovrà passare perché eh, queste tecnologie possano essere utilizzate dalle persone? Um, Bah, in, diciamo che in media uno si può pensare che quando una tecnologia inizia a diventare matura ci possiamo mettere un, tra, diciamo, un periodo di tempo fra i 3 e i 5 anni, molto dipende dai, eh, dai potenziali campi di applicazione e in questo come in tutti gli altri settori eh, technology intensive diciamo, dove si studiano essenzialmente delle tecnologie la, eh, presa in carico da parte del mercato può anche essere molto più veloce laddove il mercato trova degli sbocchi, trova delle applicazioni interessanti che ad esempio gli scienziati o quanti avevano all'inizio proposto tali tecnologie non avevano assolutamente considerato. È un, come, come sempre in questi casi è un, eh, se vogliamo, un gioco eh, creativo da parte di chi eh, le tecnologie le studia e, e, e cerca di farle avanzare ed il mercato che eh, le, le recepisce.